Hello, the internet. I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the slow-mo guys. A while ago, we shot through several panes of glass with a pistol and a 9mm round. It consistently got through the same amount. I think it was... 11. 11. Yeah. Every right. single time. It was pretty wild. But deservedly, a lot of the comments were, what are you using that baby 9mm for? Why don't you use something with some serious beans? If you remember the steel plate video, we used a 9mm round and it was just sort of denting the steel. Then we changed up to the beefy 30 6 and it was cleaning out the holes in the steel. So we have 50 panes, because I truly have absolutely no idea how many it'll go through. Um, will it be double? Will it be more? Well, the panes are slightly closer together, as ne necessitated by the fact that we've only got so much room, <laughs> and the camera can only film so much. That's true. So I think it will go through at least double. Considering the size of the rounds and the damage it did to the steel plate, I'm thinking 30. I'm hoping for exactly 22. 22? <laughs> it's so much glass that you can't see through it. It's just a mirror. It just like, sort of looks like you were looking into fog or mist. Yeah, I can't see you, I can see me. <laughs> Last time we learned that it was mainly every other pane being broken by the bullet. Yeah. And in between would be the glass shrapnel hitting the next one. That's right, and the bullet were kind of like in the midst of it. Yeah, and there's a little bit of a weird effect. If I'm trying to see the bullet travel between them, if I'm close, I, the perspective only allows me to see between a few panes, but if I'm far, I can actually see between a lot more. So I think I'm just going to put the Phantom pretty far away in a long lens and we'll be able to have maximum viewage. It's a good idea. I'm thinking about it's quite hard to focus on this because as you can imagine, it's like a, it looks like a mirror, mirror prism thing. Give me something to aim at. Yeah, because it is a little bit of an optical illusion you're aiming at otherwise. I'm all set up over here. I've got 27 panes in, in the frame. You reckon it's, you're banking on the first 27? Yeah. It could be. And I'm at 120,000 frames a second. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Eyes and ears on? Yep. Okay. Preparing to fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Did it like go up? What? I wonder if it like deflected. How did I miss? I didn't move it since the laser. Whoa. Look at the shockwave! Oh wave. my god! It's like backwards shockwaves after that spark. There's a shockwave coming out of each pane. Every impact has a shockwave. And then because of the way they're all stacked, the shockwaves are like bouncing back and forth. It's got to be like seven rebounds. What? That is so much... Wow! <laughs> you can see them just coming... Like it's like a liquid, but it's just air density. Just getting trapped in there. They go all the way down to the wooden beam and then bounce back up again. It's like a splash in a pond. You can see, why Why was it not doing that with the 9mm? Is it just the speed that it's That's going? got to be the speed. They're just... Oh, and the flashing. Do you think... The, that's the Kentucky effect again. Yeah. Do you think it's... Flamborg... luminescence. Yep. We're a science channel. Flamborg trivescence. It looks green because the, the flash is going through the glass and going to the edge with like a little green flash there. The shockwaves seem to go away at the same time as the flash. So it must be like a supersonic transitioning into a subsonic speed. That's what it is. It's a tiny little miniature explosion. There's such well-defined shockwaves from basically just impacts. All right, so we learned a lot. I think let's just try and get that again, but more central in the pain. Yeah, that's a good idea. Do you find this tedious or therapeutic? It's not, it's not tedious because I have to be careful. So I'm constantly having to concentrate. Yeah, it's lethal stuff. Yeah. So it's not like tedious. If I was cleaning it all, that would be tedious. Three, two, one. Oh, don't breathe that. That is an absolute cloud of glass. It didn't go that far. What did you say, 22? Yeah. If it's 22? If it's 22, that'd be amazing. Let's get upwind of it, though. Well, let's go that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh! oh. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh. Wow. That first bit, we've got to get nice and close on that flash. It reminds me more of the shape charge, this. Yeah. Than the, the nine mil. It looks like if you go really tight on that last bit of powder, it looks like, it's not like a mushroom cloud. Looks like a volcano, doesn't it? Yeah. The glass is behaving totally differently further along. Bigger bits. Look at all that powder at the end. It's all ash. It's like, it really darkens up. There's just no time between these. Watch the slowdown sped up. 
You can see the shockwave overtaking the bullet as it slows down. Mental, isn't it? It's like a, a sideways water fountain. You know when, when it goes whoosh and then it slows yeah. down towards the top? That's it's wicked. Okay, so before, in, in the 9mm video, I was more keen on seeing where the bullet ended. Yeah. I feel like we've seen that. Okay. Now I just want to get in on those front five. See the... the See all the flashes. Turbo Trindu luminescence yeah. part. Turbo Kentucky. Ultra... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm at 233,000 FPS. Nice and tight on the front. Well, pretty much all of that. Three, two, one. I'm loading, okay? Yep. Three, two, one. 90. Only 90. Ooh. There's fewer. Inconsistent. Looks like a Venetian blind. Yeah. Wow, the, the spark is so... Oh, four, five, six. It keeps going. Oh, wow, it's only, way more. Like, it did it for eight times, I think. I like that you can see it lighting up the inside of the, the, glass. the pane. Yeah. It's like, uh, you know, with fiber optics where it sends it along the... Yeah. That's awesome. And look, the gun's so close, it's firing the first pane through the middle. That's got to be booking for those first eight. If it's making a flash. It must slow down really quickly after it's... Yeah. Uh, it, I think once the bullet's gone, that's it. Now that I'm closer with the camera, the shockwaves aren't as visible. I wonder if distance plays a factor there. It's not got through exponentially more glass. I'm blown away more than the glass was. <laughs> Wow. Oh, the reflections of the flash too. That's cool. That's cool. It's like you can see both sides at once. They're so bright. It's like you're standing in one of those rooms, you know, the ones where you look infinite because yeah. the mirror's on both sides. And you can see it. It's not just one frame. We're fast enough to actually see the propagation of that flash in two frames. It's a circle. It's a perfect circle that goes from the, from the yeah. middle. This is cool because it's something you wouldn't see with the 9mm and slower speeds. It's the speed of this round. All right, we've moved up to 375,000 frames a second. Now we're gonna do a little backlit one. I just wanna see a single pane of the flash, but from the other side. Okay. Let's get that flash. Ready? Yep. So this is where I just fired. Oh, it tipped. It, yeah, it's tipped it. That one pane of glass seems to have tipped the, the round and made it your. Just that one. So this is at 375,000, very narrow frame. Wow, yeah. You get that weird like shimmering effect on the crack too. You do, don't you? That's cool. Interesting yeah. how the fine point is what you see in the edge of the glass. That's the over on the right. That must be the moment that it's brightest. Yeah, that must be seriously bright. It's like a beauty nature shot. Wait, look at the front of the bullet. Yeah, visible hollow point expansion there. And look at it pitching up. That's why it rotated. Yeah, like I saw in the piece of cardboard. Yeah. It looks, you know, the initial flash. It looks like uh, those adverts when you're a kid. When something's really clean, it goes ding. It's like a Mr. Sheen. Yeah. Yeah. It looks so deluxe backlit. Look at that. I love a good backlit crack. That, I like a backlit crack too. Underrated. Always I backlight your cracks. I like flashing a backlit crack. <laughs> <laughs> Mirror shot. This time at 50,000 instead of 10. I'm going to try and aim directly in the camera's mouth. In the gob hole? In the gob hole. can't believe there's going to be another seven years bad luck for me. Yeah, I think you were, you were cutting it down a little. It's been a while since you've... Well, we didn't break the last one, did we? No, we didn't. This is the same one. Yeah. <laughs> We've already shot this mirror before. <laughs> I was saved by the last pane of glass, but we know that this round is going to get straight through. Okay, I'm stopping down quite a lot to get the depth we need. Okay. Won't be great, but better than dog. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, every single time it, it did the flash. And that was 10, was it? It was 10. That is insane. It's like a rocket leaving the atmosphere from the perspective of the atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, it's like looking down at the Earth, yeah. but the, the rocket has hit 10 atmospheres. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
and then the mirror just eats it. Eats it, but it did us proud. Oh, I like that. That's a cool shot. Even though that was basically just an escalation of a previous video. It felt different. It that. felt different. There, yeah. was, there was way more stuff happening. It was the same, but different. Yeah, it was a worthwhile revisit. I'm fascinated by those flashes and we actually got to slow them down to a good few frames. I think annoyingly, we will have to just do a 50 cow one day. See how many flash pains we get. Oh no, that would be fun. That would be fun. I'm having uh, another seven years bad luck, unfortunately, so. We've really got to figure out how much have you got more bad luck than years left of your life? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think my children's children are going to have bad luck. Oh, it's generational. It's you, passed down. Yeah. <laughs> you, should, you should just start putting it in your will. Just like, which you could spread it evenly. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. No, surely I could just spread it to whoever I want. Doesn't have to, I could just be like, yeah, you. I don't want it. Well, I'm also probably not going to outlive you, so it doesn't matter. Well, exactly, yeah. <laughs> like what you're going to do, you'll be like, oh, oh no, three years of bad luck. <laughs> you just peg it and I'm just like, Damn! Yeah. <laughs> I just immediately go down the stairs. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Well, that was fun. Hopefully you enjoyed bullet destruction. There's plenty of other videos we've done similar to this. Make sure you uh, check them out if you want. Subscribe if you like slow-mo, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you later. Where's the broom? Me and yoga bike, hang on. I hope we're not recording. We'll all wait, don't worry. Hmm. So I'm thinking about... <laughs> <laughs>